Hey, what up guys? Welcome back to my programming channel and today we're gonna try something completely different for this channel. We're gonna try to solve some algorithm problems, some um, hacker rank challenges. Uh, and so I wouldn't say I'm a super experienced hacker rank user. However, however, I found I find those uh, challenges interesting and um, I think it could be a fun thing uh, that we solve them together and if you see me solving a problem and you have a better solution and you think you you have some um, some feedback you can give to me please write your opinions in the comment section below guys I really appreciate if you do and uh, I'm sure I'm sure these problems will require concentration and uh, uh, like heavy brain usage as programming often does. However, I'll try to be entertaining and uh, talk to you guys wh while I solve them. Okay, so should we do algorithms or should we do data structures? Hmm, let's go with data structures. Let's try it out. Try it out. Okay, we have arrays, which should be easy. We have 2D arrays, dynamic arrays. Okay, let's, let's do some warm up, easy array stuff. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see, guys. We have a problem. An array is a type. Yes, this is familiar to me. Yes. Okay, so what is the problem? The first line contains an integer n. The number of integers in A. Uh, second line contains n. Describe. Okay, so we have. What is the problem, guys? Given an array A of n integers, print print each element in the reverse order as a single line of space separated integers. Yeah. Okay, guys. So we get this uh, input, and then we should just print it in reverse. Okay, shouldn't be a problem. Um, Okay, let's see, we have a C program here. Oh, and we can actually choose a language. Okay, so if I choose Java, will it give me some kind... Hmm. Okay. What happens if I do this? Alright, so it scans and it uh, adds the scanned values to this array. Okay, so basically we need to, uh, to, to, to we need to print this array R but in reverse. So um, this, if w I'm thinking, we should start fr from the end, and um, we should go backwards. And this should be minus one because if we have four elements, guys, the last index is gonna be three, so we can't have n. We have we have to have n minus one because it's zero indexed, of course. And so while i is um, bigger or equals to zero, like this, and we gotta print. R and the index I. Okay, let's run it. Okay, so we have correct output, but we need uh, a space here. Your output, expected output. Good, submit code, bros. Let's see if it works. It should work and it works perfectly, guys. So, uh, yeah, so basically this program already did all the input, um, uh, like the input parsing, and they just put it in this array. And all we had to do is to start from the end and just print out all the elements. Simple, niemas, problemas. Next challenge bring it to just bring it okay we have six times six to the array boom no problem and then we have an hourglass in a to be a superset of values with indices falling in 
Uh, Alright, I'm not really... Uh, we define an hour, okay, so what is an hourglass? To be a, it's a subset of values with indices falling in this pattern in a graphical representation. Okay, so if we have this and we apply it to this, we should get some kind of subset. There are 16 hourglasses in A and N hourglass sum is the sum of an hourglass. Okay. Hum, hum, hum. Interesting. Not really sure. Uh, calculate the hourglass sum for every hourglass in A. Then print the maximum. Okay, so the maximum part shouldn't be a problem for us once we have calculated all the sums. However, I'm not really sure how this hourglass thingy, how, what they mean by it. You know, uh, okay, we haven't solved it. Input format. There are six lines of input where each line contains six space separated integers. Yep. Print our... Okay, so here is an example. We have one, 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 one. All right, right. So this, so here we have an hourglass, guys. So we, we get um, an input like this. And uh, we should uh, check all the possible hourglasses. So for example, here's an hourglass. We have one, 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 and one, 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 like in the shape of an hourglass. And this is one of them. So the next one, is this one zero one 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 okay i get it i get it and so w once we have all of these uh <clears throat> okay guys okay guys i understand the problem i understand um, what they want from us however i'm not really sure how we're gonna uh, so one way to do it is to, <coughs> of course, hard code all the indices. Like for example, we know that our glass one will always be these three numbers, this one number and these three numbers. So we could just uh, brute force. I'm thinking, um, okay, so if we start from the first element in the first um, row, and we take three elements like this, and then we go down a row, and we pick the element that is in the middle, and then and then we just scan through one element at a time. Um, okay, okay, let's start coding, guys. Let's do it. The parsing is already done. Perfect, perfect. So the plan, what is the plan guys? I have a plan that could work. So we will start by scanning the first row and take three um, elements and uh, this element and then three elements two rows down and then we're gonna skip, like we're gonna move one element to the right and take these three elements and this element and this. And we're gonna do this for this row, this row, this row and this row and after we've done this row we are done guys because we can't move down here if we would move down here then uh, so then we wouldn't be able to do an hourglass so one two three oh, so one two three four we'll We'll be able to do four hourglasses from this, and four from this, and four from this, and four from this. So it should be 16 altogether. And they have 16 hourglasses here. Okay, guys. So, uh, number one, we should loop uh, the rows from uh, row equals to zero, which will be the first row, and row. Uh, until uh, the row number four, which is index, uh, which is index index number three, guys, and row plus plus. Okay, 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 okay. And then for each row, and then for each row, guys, we should 
So we should take this index and take the two following indices. So for each row we should go one, two, three, four steps as well. So guys, for each row I'm thinking we'll take uh, this index. Uh, we'll, we'll start with index zero and we'll take uh, index zero and with index one and index two and then we'll take index one, two and three and then two, three, four, uh, three, four and five and then we can continue to the fifth one like our index number four because we wouldn't be able to make uh, at the roof of the hourglass if you like this um, top part okay so we should loop from index zero and until one two three four in column okay did i say four or okay so we should go including this so it's three uh, plus plus like this Niemas problemas guys Okay And so when we are at uh, at And okay, we should do sums there will always be 16 um, in our our glass uh, sums uh, it will be 16 of them. Mm -hmm. uh, is this how you define... Will this work? The, like, I'm always forgetting the array syntax. So. so it compiled, so I guess this is just an empty array of 16 elements. That's what we want. And so what I want to do here is to take uh, these seven numbers and just add them together so uh, hourglass okay in sum equals our so we're accessing our array our matrix and we'll take <coughs> the row we are at right now and the column we're at right now and then we add plus the row we're at right now and one column to the right and the row we are right now and two columns to the right so now we have added these three numbers which is the roof of the hourglass guys guys i hope this is entertaining i mean i'm trying to talk <laughs> uh, okay let's continue we have the roof and now we should take the element that is one row down and one column to the right so now we're taking this thingy right here which is one row down from the element we're at right now and one column to the right yep 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 and then we're gonna take the three numbers which are two rows down guys boom like this and row plus two I mean, um, this um, this feels like a naive approach. It's kind of basic, but I mean, it works. So why shouldn't you use it? Uh, okay, and so should I use a vector or should I just use this? Uh, okay, let's just do a count, and we're gonna do we're gonna do guys count plus plus like this here and hourglass sums int sum equal sum or namely count like this okay let's see if this works if we get any errors guys did we get any errors uh, compiler message i mean i hope this uh, doesn't crash test output Let's see if we get this test output. Uh, print F. So it doesn't crash. Perfect. Uh, however, now so okay. So now we have this. Um, uh, 
Uh, I just want to print uh, the count so we know that we have looped the uh, six. The, so count should be 15. Uh, when this. Okay. Print F, guys. Never forget the F. Mucho importante. Okay, your output 16. Is this correct? Um, yeah, it is correct. So it should be 16. Okay, so now I need to find the maximum value. Uh, I'm just gonna Google, guys. Uh, C find maximum value. Uh, I'm sure there is some utility method. Otherwise, I can do it with a loop as well. Uh, if there is no utility method, we will do it. Uh, with the loop int largest really maybe there is uh, there is no utility method okay let's let's ju just do it okay so now find largest value boom we're going to do min which is uh, uh, is there any um so in Java you can write <coughs> integer <coughs> dot mean value. Okay, let's do like this. Uh, int. Uh, so this is max. Uh, test. So I. Uh, uh, I just want to see that those variables actually exist in this um, environment and they do because we get an output and so for int i equals zero e dun 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 dun. like this so if uh, So guys, do you think that this is like too much code for such a simple problem? Is this a simple problem, guys? Do you think this is simple? Um, do, 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 max. Like, okay, so we don't need this mean thingy. Max, okay, finally, here we're gonna print out this number max. Run code. Your output, expected output. Correct, guys. So let's submit it and see if it works. So guys, do you think that this is a simple uh, simple program and that it shouldn't require this much code? I mean, sometimes when you program, it feels like you're using this naive method and that there is some, some crazy hacker way to do this, which is very, very short. And I, I'm, sure, I'm sure there is. So guys, um, leave in the comments below you, if you think that this, this could be done easier and shorter. Uh, and uh, did you find this interesting? Because this is new for me. It's new for this channel doing these hack rank problems. Did you find this entertaining and did it give you any value? Did you learn anything from this? Right guys, that's it. Uh, and yeah, of course, if you're new to this channel and you like programming and you like development, you like technology, this is the channel for you guys and you should subscribe because you'll find it interesting. I'm a software developer myself and I post videos every single day, guys. Uh, all right, guys, that's all for today and I'll see you guys tomorrow.